Ladies and gentlemen and fellow alcohol enthusiasts, welcome. This week we are looking at Cry Rock Red Berry. Now, Cry Rock Red Berry is a product of France and is interesting because, unlike most vodkas which are made of grain, or actually potato, I think, uh, this vodka is gluten-free. Fancy word for they actually uh, don't use grains or any starch, they use French grapes. So I'm actually interested to see how this tastes versus your... Uh, Mother Russia potato vodka. So, uh, namely, uh, by the way, French grapes, uh, Maz Mazouk Blanc and Ugi Blanc grapes. I mean, I'm American. I don't know how to say that stuff. They're grapes. They taste like grapes. Cryoc, or if that's how you say it, Red Berry is one of the first flavored infused varieties from the makers of Cryoc. Ultra Premium Vodka. Again, just the Ultra Premium Marketing, blah, blah, blah. And is gluten-free. Uh, distilled five times to ensure highest quality. We'll get to that later. This spirit is masterful infused with raspberries, strawberries, and other natural, air quotations, flavors, resulting in a taste experience that is luxuriously different and elegant, elegantly it's smooth, damn it, unlike my reading. The resulting balance of luscious berry-infused flavor is perfectly highlighted in the martini that you can make with it. Okay, anyways, uh, Clay's nose has a hint of jam. Taste is ripe, juicy berries, I call BS. And it has a delicious, sweet finish. Now, what I mean by the five-time distilled, the U.S. law or classification for vodka says vodka is natural spirit so distilled or treated after distillation with charcoal or other materials as to be without distinctive character, aroma, taste, or color. Vodka, by law, has to be tasteless, quote-unquote. So when they talk about our vodka is distilled blah, 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 times to ensure rich, full... No, vodka, by definition, is supposed to be tasteless, as tasteless as possible without any distinctive taste, as it were. So I wonder, does this still qualify as vodka? Well, it's flavored vodka, so you're mentioning it's flavored nothingness. Interesting. But again, I always found that funny. But actually, the funny thing here is... Nope, it doesn't mention... I was, I, It does mention that it has to be made with grain or potatoes. So, okay. But yeah. I always always found that interesting. In, by law, vodka can't be distinctive taste. It's the law! And so here we are, finding ourselves again here in my lovely kitchen. Well, my kitchen, nonetheless. Its loveliness or lack thereof is irrelevant. Have today's shot, which isn't framed up right, chronic. Which I don't think, there it goes, in focus. Red berry vodka. Now, this is, uh, again, as it says, uh, infused with natural wild berries, blah, 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 blah. Uh, made with fine or from fine French grapes, so they're snooty grapes with hats on. No it's kidding. Uh My apology to my non-existent uh, fans in France. Uh, the, again, product of France, thirty-five percent alcohol by volume, seventy proof. So this is below Jack, which is forty, or the general whiskeys, which is usually forty and eighty proof. And but a little bit above, I think, some of the flavored stuff. So, all right, let's see. Got my, oops, got my personal shot glass out today. There you go. Used to be available. On, no, actually, I don't think I ever sold those. Just bought one for myself. There you go. Just about perfect. Again, misleading bottle. All that fit in one shot glass. So, it poured fine. Again, vodka, by definition, is clear liquid not supposed to have any smell to it but since they flavored this i'm pretty sure it does have smell so let's see let's smell it they weren't kidding about jam it smells like jelly interesting it smells like jelly strawberry jelly kind of that one but there's something there again vodka is what's there but let's see are we still recording 
Yes, we are. Always good to double check before I take the shot. I'm trying to think. I do have some jams and jellies here, like moonshine. See? I wonder if this is still good, because I've had this for years, I think. Oh, well. And uh, how about orange, pineapple, cherry, merlot? None of them are going to be strawberry, so I can't smell it. All right, let's just get on to this. No need. Again, I'm so used to just randomly talking, but... Yeah, it just smells like strawberries to me. So that's the first thing I smell. So uh, here's two uh, product placements and good jam. So here we go. Ooh. Okay. It lives up to the no taste thing. Okay. It goes down waterish. There's warmth, but there's no alcohol cringe. There's a slight taste now of berries, but again, I don't know if that smell or art marketing tricking me. But essentially, it goes down really no taste. And light, light warmth. It's only after it goes down that you feel a little bit of warmth and then it immediately goes down. So there's almost no warmth to it. I'm feeling the warmth down the center of my chest here, but essentially it just goes down as liquid. There's no strong taste of berries, raspberry, whatever nonsense that they talk. There's an aftertaste of bad jam. There's no, I mean, there's no sweet finish, but a little bit low. I mean, it goes down smooth. That was a, a thing with about small shots like that when there's a little bit, nothing left, is it's mostly just warmth at that point. They don't taste, but as far as that goes, it just kind of went down smooth enough, and that was kind of it. It was disappointing. Is a word because again I bought this thinking oh look red berry infused with blah 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 ought to taste good right you're, you're hoping for that little sweet red raspberry strawberry taste you just get a liquid that goes down has like alcohol taste with it maybe coated with some sugary but you can't taste it and the aftertaste is eh. but let's step, take a step back here uh, <laughs> Sorry, uh, I was amazed by my stupidity there. But no, let's take a step back here and talk about the vodka itself because this is my first time that I'm aware of drinking grape vodka. And again, went down smooth. There's no cringe, no nothing like that. So then again, I, Greg Goose, from what I remember, goes down pretty smooth also. So maybe, again, I'm used to the old cheap Smirnoff and cheaper brands of vodka. Which again, potatoes from what I know. Uh, but Grey Goose and these guys, is Grey Goose grapes also maybe? Anyways, this is the first grape one I know of and went down smooth. So again, step back. This is 35, 35? Uh, yeah, 35, 70 proof. And that alcohol went down smooth. Nice, smooth, and again, light taste. They could have done better taste. There's one more of these. I'm going to taste during this whole uh, experiment. This one is pineapple and it's all the same uh, 70 proof 35. So we'll see how they do with that one. But again, mm, that burp aftertaste tasted more like strawberry than anything else. Uh, but again, so 35% alcohol went down smooth. No cringe. Uh, light burn, everything's good, just lack lusting in a taste. So, if this was just vodka, I'd be singing its praises. But since I expected vodka with flavor, I was disappointed. Wasn't bad, just wasn't what I was hoping for. So, there you go. So, that ends this week's the Top Take a Shot. So, uh, let me know what you think down below. Again, I'm just trying random stuff as I'm going. So let me know what you think about the format down below. I need to start animating this stuff. Hopefully I did this one. Probably didn't. Anyways, all that aside, thanks again for watching and see you next time.